Hi, my name is Chris Peterson. I'm a senior systems engineer at Dell Data Center Solutions. And today I'm going to talk about Zeus or the C8000 chassis, how to install it in the rack, and how to do some of the cable management. The first thing you'll get will be a set of rails for the chassis. These are relatively straightforward rails. They're labeled with right and left and printed on the rails themselves so you know which side to put them on. The rails themselves will clip uh, into the front and the back flanges of the rack just with a clip like this in the front and the same thing in the back. So they will just go into the rack basically like this and you can slide them to whatever depth you need. The other thing we recommend that's part of the rail kit um, are these brackets. These will bolt onto the rear flange of the rack itself. Um, they will bolt on like this and the chassis will slide in here. And this helps support the back of the chassis. Since this is a front um, cabled system versus the traditional rear cabled system, um, one of the questions that we get a lot is, well, how do I do cable management yeah. for this? Since the power supplies are in the middle, what we generally recommend is that you end up building multiple cable bundles in front of the rack. So basically, you would take your cables on the right side, bundle these together, form a vertical bundle, and then run it along your flange like this. And same thing on the left side. You take your cable bundles, make vertical vertical bundles like this, and then Velcro it to your uh, rack itself. In the back of the chassis, there are actually four power ports. You can see two on the left here, and then two on the right. The two on the left will correspond to the power supply sled on slot six, and the two on the right will correspond to the power, power supply sled in slot five. For full power redundancy, you want to make sure you plug in both cables on both sides. That will make sure that all four power supplies and the power supplies and the power supply sleds will power up and provide full redundant power for the system. Um, in this case, um, you also want to build cable bundles here typically. You would just build them like, you know, in the same fashion, bundle them together and then run them vertically to your zero UPDUs.